if I can get your attention, please. If I had something to, to bang, we'd, we would start. Um, I want to welcome everyone here to a very special occasion that we get to announce that uh, Susan McGannon has gracefully accepted our offer to stay on for another 15 years. <laughs> I've been mayor for 18 months now, and uh, unfortunately, this is one of the things that I have um, over, I guess this is my fourth one uh, of a staff member who's retired, and uh, want to let the public know that it's a complete coincidence. I'm not running <laughs> anyone off. So, Susan does work for the city council and the mayor, but the rest of them work for Rob. So if anybody wants to blame, you can blame him. Uh, I want to recognize some very special guests that are here, here today. Uh, we have several of Susan's friends from the uh, IMLA, the bar, some of her past co-workers at Bassberry and Sims, and want to thank you all for coming to celebrate with us. Uh, we have several of our current council members. Uh, we have our council, council lady Smotherman, Bill Shacklett, uh, Ron Washington. Where's Ron? There's, there's Ron right there. I, I don't think I've missed anyone else. Um, and we have several of our former council members here. We have, uh, it, and I, I went to school with, with this individual back uh, in 19, in the early 90s, so it still is hard, probably it's hard for him to call me mayor as it is for me to say Judge Toby Gilly is here with us today. Um, I've, Former Vice Mayor and Council Member Chris Bratcher is here. There's Chris. There's Chris. We have uh, another one of our constitutionally or charter elected officers or charter appointed officers, Judge Ewing, Seller, Ewing Sellers is here. Uh, Melissa Wright is here. There's Melissa. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, I'm affectionately known as Mayor Bragg to Miss M <laughs> Melissa, so it's an inside joke. Um, we have many, many retired employees who are here. Uh, if you're a retired employee of the city, please raise your hand. I see many. There's Joe Kirshner that's back there, <laughs> Susan May Sue Mahon, uh, and last but not least, we have our many dedicated city employees are here. If you're a city employee, please raise your hand. I see Sherry Carpenter back behind me. Um, so glad you're here, Aunt Sherry. Councilman Lance. Councilman Lance just walked in. Sorry to point out that you're late, but we're glad that you're here. <laughs> but you look nice. You look nice, Rick. Um, and I also think that it would be remiss if we didn't uh, ask that Susan's legal staff step forward and so we can recognize the group that Susan's led for, for many years. So. Thank you all so much. Uh, do we have any county and state officials who are here today? Well, we, um, it, you know, today is a is a sad day, but yet it's a day that we we um, we know that you're thankful for and that you get to move on to the next phase. Um, there's there's so much that I could say about Susan. Please don't. I, 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 <laughs> well, I do have to tell a couple of, of stories. You know, as a, as a council member, the first, after you're elected, the first visit that you get, besides, you know, from the people uh, getting your oath of office, you get to go sit down with Susan. And Susan's, uh, I'll, I'll never forget, I went into her office, I sat on her, her couch, and Susan sat next to me, and she said, I'm going to tell you all the things that you can't do. <laughs> and so after that, I walked out of her office going, what the heck have I gotten myself into? <laughs> but over the years, I've, um, for those of y'all who don't know, one of the things I enjoy doing is playing practical jokes. And so 
you know, I'm the guy who called Susan and asked that if it was in, in a country voice, asking her if it was okay to put a pig farm out at the avenue. Uh, and, and, but the funniest one was um, back when we were going through our um, electronic digital sign, I called Susan, I'll never forget, I was in front of the hospital in Shelbyville, and I don't know why, I'm going down the road and I guess I'm bored, so I'm like, I think I'm gonna call Susan and, and, and play with her a little bit. So I call Susan and say, the campaign's going on. And so I say, Susan, uh, I hope it's okay, but I just signed a contract with the digital sign company to be able to advertise on that, that digital sign, I don't know, Fort Parkway, is that okay? <laughs> and so it's complete silence for about 15 <laughs> seconds. And so before I could catch Susan, she goes into about a three or four minute uh, rant on why I can't do that. <laughs> and finally I just said, Susan, I was just kidding. I was just joking and then just hung up the phone. So anyway, Susan for many years, if you ask council mem the council members and former mayors, has been someone that I can truly say has the best interest of this city at heart. Uh, if there's anyone that you could, could look at and you say um, you, with staff members, you, you want to say, look, you're, you're someone else. You're not the job, but Susan is the job. When we look at what has accomplished in this city and, and how we have routinely stayed out of trouble, um, you're a big part of that. And so I want to be able just to say from all of the council members, all of the former mayors, through staff members, uh, I cannot tell you how much that we appreciate who you are and, and not just who you are, what you mean to us and what you've done for us. This may take a second, but I think it's, um, Susan, you've put in a lot of years to the city, so you, you deserve everything you're getting here today. So um, I'm gonna read a long proclamation, but Susan has accomplished many, many things outside of Murfreesboro. I mean, um, one of my, my good friends in Nashville, Tom White, um, who is one of the most respective, respected attorneys in Nashville, talks about and talked about how Susan was so well respected as being uh, the leader of municipal law. And so I'm gonna read this to you, a resolution that we'll have tonight at our city council meeting. Uh, resolution 15R39, honoring city attorney Susan Emery McGannon upon her retirement on November 1st, 2015. Whereas city attorney Susan Emery McGannon has served the city of Murfreesboro as assistant city attorney from 1992 to 2001, and as city attorney from 2001 to present. Whereas following her graduation from Kenyon College and Vanderbilt University of Law, Susan became an accomplished and gifted attorney in her private legal practice in Nashville and achieved many distinguished honors, including founding and leading the Law Lawyers Association for Women and becoming a two-time president of the Tennessee Municipal Attorneys Association. And whereas she continued that tradition of leadership while in Murfreesboro by being awarded the President's Award from the Tennessee Bar Association, Kenyon College's Distinguished Service Award, and the Tennessee Supreme Court Service Award, serving on the Tennessee Supreme Court's Board of Professional Responsibility, serving on the Board of Directors of the IMLA, uh, earning IMLA's Joseph I. Mulligan Distinguished Public Service Award in 2008, and four times achieving designation as an IMLA Local Government Fellow, a distinction given to recognize municipal attorneys as proficient and competent in the practice of municipal law. Serving as president of the Rutherford County Bar Association, sir, excuse me, Rutherford, Can Rutherford Cannon County Bar Association, serving on the Tennessee Bar Association's Board of Governors, and being one of the co-creators of the leadership program and becoming a life member of the Sixth Circuit Judicial Conference. And whereas during her tenure in Murfreesboro, Susan has also given her time and research resources to her community and peers by serving on the board of directors of the United Way of Rutherford County, serving on the board of directors of the Kenyon College, serving on the National Council of Vanderbilt University School of Law, serving as co-president of the League of Women Voters of Murfreesboro and Rutherford County, as well as an officer of the League of Women Voters of Tennessee serving as secretary of the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department, Citizens Police Academy, Alumni Association, and graduating from Leadership Rutherford. 
and whereas Susan McGannon has authored numerous published articles and speeches, and whereas many of those speeches we've gotten at our city council meetings on many Thursday nights. <laughs> That's not in there, but I thought it'd be good to say that. Whereas, while these many professionals and community activities were important to Susan McGannon, she has always placed the interest, and this is the truth, the, she's always placed the interest of the city of Murfreesboro and its citizens, businesses, institutions, and government first and foremost with her time, dedication, and intellect. Whereas Susan McGann has served the city council, the boards of commissions of the city, the city manager's office, and employees of the city through periods of growth and times of challenge and difficulty with the highest degree of professionalism, proficiency, ethics, integrity, leadership, and dedication. And whereas Susan McGann has led the legal department excellently, ethically, efficiently, and enjoyably. And whereas the city recognizes that City Attorney Susan McGannon's notable and significant contributions to the City of Murfreesboro and the legal profession. Now therefore, be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, as follows. Section 1, the City of Murfreesboro hereby honors and expresses its profound appreciation to Susan Emery McGannon. The people acknowledge her many contributions and her selfless devotion to the city during her tenure with the legal department. Section 2, this resolution shall be effectively, effective immediately upon its passage and adoption, the public welfare and the welfare of the city requiring it. Congratulations, Susan. Okay. Vice Mayor Young is here also. There he is back there. All right, I want to uh, turn the podium over to uh, City Manager Lyons. <laughs> you might want to hug you now, because I may not want to hug you after. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I think you want to hug me after, but just in case. Um, the relationship between a city manager and a city attorney is a special one, uh, but the relationship between uh, Rob and Susan was extremely special. Uh, there were many uh, difficult times and special times that uh, we shared uh, always trying to do what was best for the city. And uh, I thought, um, you know, how, in, well, how could I try to capture what, what's happened over these many years in this special relationship? And I know I see a lot of our city staff out there. I thought, well, maybe I'd do something that Susan said I couldn't do because it's kind of too late for her to tell me no. <laughs> so city managers really don't have any authority to, to, to do proclamations and issue proclamations, but you're going to get a proclamation. <laughs> written by the city manager. So uh, I think our staff will certainly relate to many of these stories and I think some of our council members will as well. So here it goes. Susan Emery McGannon, proclamation. Whereas Susan Emery McGannon is retiring after 23 years of service, including 14 as city attorney. Whereas many residents are familiar with Susan from watching her on city TV, but they may not know her the way our staff knows her, so it's time to get to know her just a little bit better. Whereas Susan has a fondness for the written word, especially all of those memorable chapters of the employee handbook. <laughs> Who will forget the body odor policy <laughs> and the policy on tattoos and body piercing? And whereas Susan's love for the written word was not limited to her memos, legal opinions, and counsel letters in her own sort of giving way, Susan shared her love of the written word with the rest of staff. She loved them so much, she added her own words to our memos, opinions, and council letters, <laughs> always while using a red pencil. <laughs> Who will forget her red pencil? Susan, I hate to break it to you, but nobody's gonna miss your red pencil. <laughs> if you're a staff member and been subject to Susan's red pencil, please raise your hand. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> <clears throat> Whereas in addition to the written word, Susan is an accomplished orator. Even though the rest of staff needed a dictionary to keep up with her. Who will forget such classics as consanguinity, ludite, and um, I forget the rest because they were words I didn't know what they meant and I can't remember them now. <laughs> if you're a staff member and you heard a word used by Susan that you didn't know what it meant, raise your hand. <laughs> Despite her enormous, dare I say, prodigious vocabulary, Susan on occasion would communicate at a level even a city manager could understand. 
Who will forget such classic phrases as the KISS principle? Belts and suspenders, more better, and, and this one was my favorite, duh. <laughs> if you've heard duh from Susan, raise your hand. <laughs> Whereas Susan is a self-professed worry wart and risk avoiding attorney, and most of the time we all appreciated it, Susan's con concern for the well-being of city employees and our residents is well known. Who will forget during the H1N1 flu crisis, Susan briefly suggested that we use social distancing to prevent the spread of the flu. This meant we were gonna stay about three or four feet apart from residents and dealing with them. <laughs> Elbow bumps were going to replace handshakes, and I'm not quite sure how the finance department was going to collect tax payments. <laughs> I think it might have sounded something like this. Um, ma'am, just so we don't get the flu from one another, do you think you could crumple up that check and toss it to me? <laughs> Underhand and kind of slow? Now therefore, I, Rob Lyons, vested with absolutely no right or authority to do so. <laughs> Hereby proclaim today is a day for all residents of Murfreesboro to wear belts and suspenders, <laughs> to expand their vocabularies, to use a red pencil freely while using the KISS principle. Residents are also encouraged to make policy follow practice, to follow the, wor to follow the rules, and to work hard for the betterment of our community just like Susan did. Who we will not forget is Susan Emery McGannon, a public servant who upheld the law displayed pristine character and who simply made Murphy's better by using her brilliant legal mind. Susan is a friend, a confidant, who made a forever impact on Murfreesboro. I wish for her great books to read, relaxing times with family in Florida, free Thursday nights, <laughs> opportunities to mentor young attorneys, and a happy retirement. Signed, using a red pencil. <laughs> Rob Lyons. I believe George has got some gifts for you now. Oh. Maybe the council members could bring her the uh, item in the frame. Doug and Rick. Just make sure I don't fall down. Yeah. Susan Emery McGannon, in recognition for your dedication and service to the city of Murfreesboro, and this is the new key to the city. Thank you. And so, Susan, yes. um, the podium is yours. Okay, I will call on one of my trusted staff to Here. hold my lovely oh. coat. <laughs> Well, as I said. <laughs> oh, I'm your trusted staff. Oh, yes, you absolutely are. On behalf of the employees of the city of Murfreesboro, we want to express our appreciation to you for all you've done. Oh, oh. Uh, it says and Susan's Travel Fund on it. <laughs> <laughs> get it, do I get to open you it? You can open it. Oh, my, oh. Oh my! Southwest vouchers and chocolate, right? <laughs> oh, right! Wonderful! People, people know me very well! Thank you! Well, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! You're welcome. Do I open this now? You can, or you can read it later. All right, well, that's up to you. Uh, I'm, I think I'm, you need to take time make your speech. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Hey, I, I would like to make one comment, though. If that's over a hundred dollars, you are going to have to disclose that. <laughs> M Melissa will have my report uh, tomorrow in the ten-day period. Um, thank you, Shane. Thank you, Rob, uh, and thank all of you for coming. It is a real treat for me to see so many people that I have worked with. The mayors and council uh, have been my primary client, but as everyone knows who's done local government legal work, uh, the whole city is really your client, and I'm honored uh, that, to have the representation we do. Um, it was very kind to recognize some of the important folks who are here. I want to call out just a, a few more. Uh, the person who is 
primarily responsible for my becoming a Tennessean, Sarah Sedgwick is here in the pink. We, we both went to Kenyon College. Uh, I needed to get the money to decide what I was going to do with my life and was deciding among schools. Sarah had gone directly to Vanderbilt and she said, come to Vanderbilt. I did and I've never left. So thank you, Sarah. Um, the other key people in my legal career um, who are here, Linda Mooningham, who is now with the TML Bond Fund, was the uh, secretarial support at the time for the professor, adjunct professor, law partner, uh, that I started clerking for my second year of law school. And my partners in that firm, then Stokes and Bartholomew, and now Adams and Reese, Larry Stewart is here, as well as Karen Neal, who's now with Bassberry and Sims. And so it's an honor for me to have them uh, join me today. The department heads know um, what it's like working for the city. Uh, and I had a chance to get my two cents into them at our leadership team meeting, so I, I won't go through the maximums. Uh, Rob listened, and I was very pleased from his remarks. He, he, you know, he, he had heard them before, but I was glad you all had a chance to hear them today. And the team that I've put together is one I'm very proud of. Um, David Ives, who's uh, had to apply twice before I was smart enough to hire him, um, is working for the city at a board meeting as, as we speak, so he's not here. So I want to honor him uh, in absentia. Uh, Kelly Baker was my very first hire uh, as uh, ascending to the city attorney's office, which only was possible uh, because Tom Reed uh, was um, kind or smart enough, opinions vary, uh, to, to, to hire me away from the private practice of law, uh, uh, leading such city-wide memorable phrases as, uh, do what you're big enough to do, we gotta turn mama's picture to the wall, and, and certain other guiding principles uh, that have been important for me. And, oh, and Darlene, excuse me, Darlene. Darlene Marsh also practiced law in Nashville together before coming to Murfreesboro. Um, and the um, uh, uh, ability uh, to work with the people in the legal department has been a treasure as we have grown that department in both numbers and qualifications. Uh, and um, uh, many of you know Judy San Angelo, uh, who led a, a good path for Kathy Smith to follow and propping me up and making me look good. Um, I would want you to keep um, Judy and Phil. I was sure I was going to be able to do this. Uh, thank you. Um, Phil had open heart surgery uh, earlier, and so they were not able to be here, but the um, uh, doing uh, excellent work ethically, efficiently, and enjoyable is something that was possible because of Judy and Kathy and Melanie and Beverly uh, and Diane and Adam and David and Kelly. And so I know I am leaving. Uh, and Richard and Beverly and Mary. Uh, think, thinking risk management, we, we have an artificial uh, uh, sort of segue there, uh, leaving a good team for Craig. Uh, and I know he can see from this turnout what a caring and special place Murfreesboro is. So um, it has been an honor, and I thank you all. This is one of the few times that somebody else will get the last word standing at the podium. Uh, I know Susan will not miss the times that we joke when Susan walks into a room and we all go, shh, shh here she comes. Um, Susan, I'm going to miss you. Um, and I, I'm saying this as, as personally that, you know, it's, it's tough taking on a position as a, as a new guy and not knowing exactly your learning as you go. And I want to thank you for keeping me um, 
Susan is always that person that I could go sit and talk with and say, hey, what do you think about this? Or knowing how much I respected you to always pick up the phone call and always ask you something first. And I want you to know that um, if you were to ask every person who's here, they would tell you the same thing. So we, uh, you've been a blessing to this city. You've been a blessing to many of the council members, the mayors, the staff members, and uh, you will not be forgotten here for many, 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 many years. Um, folks, we've got a lot of people who've worked hard and we've got refreshments back here. We have a guest book that's near the door to the plaza that we would love for everyone to sign. So um, if you wanna get a few parting shots into Susan, now's your chance to do that. <laughs> There is not a red pen sitting there, so um, we're thankful for you and thankful for all of your friends who are here today. So thank you for coming and enjoy the refreshments. <laughs>